What's up everybody? My name is Daniel Tapia and in this video I'm going to be talking about your energy levels and I'm going to be talking a little bit about type 2 diabetes. So if you struggled with either of those things, it's probably a good idea to watch this video. So um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've been dealing with a lot of people that have type 2 diabetes or they tell me, Daniel, I just don't have the energy throughout the day to continue all the tasks that I need to be doing. Like at 10 a.m., I get so tired. I'm, I'm at work and I feel like I'm falling asleep at work, so I have to drink a Coke. Or right after school, I come home and I just take a nap. If you've ever felt like that, you're probably in the right place. And I want to teach you exactly why you get this stuff. Is that cool? Okay, I'm going to try to make it really fast, actionable stuff that you can deal with right now. Okay, so let's just look at this right here. This is a graph, blood sugar um, compared to fasted and fed. That's normally fasted um, basically means you haven't eaten, fed means you have eaten, and then fasted again. Okay, and then there's three lines you, you can tell. Uh, the, the green line is type 2 diabetic. Um, the reddish looking one is a normal high carb, like if you eat high carbs. Um, is kind of what it feels like and then the ideal situation is this one right here this black one. okay so let's talk about real quickly um, what diabetes uh, what type 2 diabetics deal with type 2 diabetics basically means their insulin is resistant and what that means is so insulin is the thing that drops your blood sugar that brings your blood sugar from here down here okay and type 2 diabetics have naturally higher um, resting blood sugar so their blood sugar is higher so to consider yourself a type 2 diabetic, um, you have to be like, I think, because, man, it's hot in my house. So uh, if I'm sweating, bear with me, <laughs> okay? So to be a type 2 diabetic, I think they clinically have to say that your your uh, blood sugar is um, 128 megaliters, um, milliliters per deciliter, okay? And that's just lingo, whatever. Don't worry about that. But um, so naturally, let's say, for example, this is why your energy, I'm going to show you why your energy drops throughout the day. So let's say in the morning, you're not drinking my morning mojo, um, and you start eating some, like, I don't know, you, you drink like uh, orange juice, right? That has high, um, high glycemic index, which basically means um, that it raises your blood sugar really quickly. So if you're not drinking my morning mojo, you should be. And if you're not on the Iron Beauty Fitness program, you should be, okay? Um, so if you're, you're a type 2 diabetic, you eat if you're fasted, right? So... You're fasted, your blood sugar is high, kind of rested already at the top, at the high level, which you shouldn't be. And then you eat something. Let's say you eat something that's like uh, you eat a taco in the morning, right? You're like, well, I'm type 2 diabetic, but you know, this taco looks pretty good. I'm going to take care of that. I'm going to eat it. So what happens is it's not only carbs, it's fats as well. If you eat high saturated fats, which are in tacos and tortillas, uh, it's really high in fats. So if you eat that what a type 2 diabetic goes through is this so their blood sugar pops up boom and what happens the difference between the type 2 diabetic and the normal person is the type 2 diabetic has their their blood sugar risen for a long period of time and this is not good because chronic stress to your uh, blood sugar is not very good and that's why people become type 2 diabetic because they become they've had their blood sugar risen so long so high that their body becomes resistant to it so now they have to eat, uh, take insulin or they have to um, stop eating stuff so that their blood sugar drops. Like their blood sugar doesn't drop directly. Like they can't just, they can't just like drop their blood sugar. They have to do something to exercise. They have to do some type of eating correctly to drop the blood sugar. Um, but this is typically what happens. It stays elevated for a long period of time. And this is, this causes adverse effects to your body. And so what happens is this right here, this dip, where you see all three of them go through, this is that energy cycle where you, you start to get tired. This is that 2 p.m. crash. This is that 10 a.m. crash. So with type 2 diabetics, you see how big that difference is? That's how big that energy drop could be. So that's why I say with type 2 diabetics, you have a little bit more, you have to be a little more cautious about things. And um, so... The ideal situation for that, to heal yourself, to get rid of the type 2 diabetes, well, not necessarily get rid of it, but to, to make sure that this type 2 diabetes doesn't get any further, the ideal situation is this, right? I want you to always be right between the midline, right between these blood sugars. So exercise keeps you in this midline, okay? If you're taking the Iron Beauty Fitness Challenge 
and you're doing the exercises that I put in there, this helps you increase your sensitivity to um, insulin. My program helps you increase your sensitivity to this particular part to be closer to this midline. Because if you go through this, you don't have those energy spikes and, and peaks and troughs. You don't have these big old things right here. This big old drop, you don't have that. You'll stay closer to this right here, okay? That's, uh, that's by eating less, not necessarily carbs, but eating less calories altogether, okay? So just the misconception that people say, well, if you eat a lot of carbs, no, it has to do with carbs and fat. So um, what my recommendation to you is to now start to eat a little bit more pro uh, protein and fiber to stay closer to this midline because protein and fiber, uh, they number one, they help you with increasing satiety, which basically means you stay fuller longer. And... Um, Number two, they don't spike your blood sugar the way that normal carbohydrates do. And the reason why I'm sweating so much is because um, I put cream on. I put cream on. So, yeah. So that's the way to help you with your blood sugar. And this is why you get those energy spikes. So if you're dealing with those energy spikes, you might want to take a look at what you're eating before you get that energy spike. That's how you're going to cure yourself from all those energy peaks and troughs. You're not going to feel like, oh, I'm losing all the energy. So with that being said, if you haven't signed up for the Iron Beauty Fitness Challenge, um, go to toppyfitness.com right now. Go do it. Go take advantage of that. And uh, you will see this video later on in the, videos, uh, in the video series. And if you are on the Iron Beauty Fitness Challenge, this is kind of a reaffirmation as to why you're doing the program the way you are and why you're doing the exercises the way you are. Cool? So that's your diabetes fix and um, your energy fix. So number one more protein, number two, more fiber, number three, more exercise, the right kind of exercises. So interval trainings increase your sensitivity to insulin, which doesn't make you have these big old peaks and troughs. The way the workouts that I've talked about, the Tabata workouts, help you stay closer to this midline um, and help you stay away from the energy, uh, keep, you, keep your energy. Okay, and then finally, uh, not so much uh, sugary and fatty stuff, so that you can help yourself get away from this high peaks and trough energy levels because if you stay on this too long, um, I don't wanna say that you can lose an arm, you can lose a leg, you can lose your eyesight, but that's the truth of the matter. So uh, with that being said, go to topyofitness.com um, and invest in the Iron Beauty Fitness Program. And if you're on the Iron Beauty Fitness Program, uh, I should post, I'll post some, um, you should already have your meal, meal guide, you should already have your workouts. This should just be a reaffirmation as to what you're learning inside the program, okay? And the stuff is, is easy to follow. Everything that I have in there, the shopping list, the meal guides, everything in there is already set up for you. All you have to do is follow it. If you have any questions, I will post a link below so you can have, um, so you can post questions in the group. So with that being said, I will talk to you later.